Andy, innovation I know within IT is something like, that's close to PA Consulting's heart and, and they've championed it a, a, a lot in the last uh, a decade or so. Uh, what practical steps can a CIO take to achieve a greater level of innovation in his or her department? I think, I think there are probably three things that a CIO needs to focus on. The first is that a survey we've done with Harvey now shows that um, CIOs fall into a couple of camps really in the last uh, few years, cost cutters and innovators. Um, now the proportion of innovators is relatively low but um, we think you know, moving into the you know, post-recession, certainly in the private sector, more CIOs are going to have to think about innovation in the round and start to actually push an innovation agenda. Um, moving on from that, um, the thing that we see a lot of is that the technology stack that's in place at the moment in most organisations is, is kind of not fit for purpose for, for the future world. So we're seeing a, a lot of kind of leg legacy technologies, you know, big ERP systems uh, and so on and so forth. And what people are looking for now is much more agile technology. So for example, we did some work with some of our local government clients over the last few weeks where we saw that you know, business intelligence, software as a service, cloud computing are going to be really big agenda items. And it's about accelerating the cycle time, looking at those technologies and bringing business value immediately to the table. And the third thing is just putting the CIO on the top table and bringing innovation to the top table, making it a topic for board consideration. How can we as a business adapt and become more agile through the use of technology? And just getting that aired on the board table is going to be a key part of driving the agenda forward. And that, that's, that, that last point is quite quite important. Isn't it? The survey reveals that CIOs are, are getting more strategic, which you know is good yeah. news. But in, in your experience, oh, what what kind of skills do CIOs need to learn more of to kind of deal with that board table? Because it's a different world than the, the you know typical IT department world, isn't it? I think I think what we're seeing a lot of is is. Um, you know, CIOs, IT directors, senior IT people have, have mastered, um, obviously the technology side, but they, they've mastered um, working with businesses at the kind of functional level. So they've got good business knowledge of HR and finance and so on and so forth. They can work with people at that level. What they've not mastered is the leadership skills that are needed to bring I, I, IT, ICT to the top table. So it's about um, having a different breed of CIO, um, one that's got communication skills and the you know, political skills to actually work with um, you know, the CXO um, level uh, within an organisation. Andy, thank you very much.